Tomorrow is Juneteenth, a holiday that commemorates the long-awaited emancipation of slaves in the United States. Today, work is still being done on diversity and inclusion efforts, even in the military. Brigadier General Devin Pepper of the U.S. Space Force is a member of the Black African American Employment Strategy Team. Their vision is to eliminate artificial barriers surrounding employment, advancement, and retainment of African American airmen and guardians. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Brigadier. Yeah, Kelsey, thank you. Thank you for having me. So you had a very long and distinguished career in the military. Can you kind of tell us a little bit more about your journey rising through the ranks as a person of color in the Space Force? Sure. So so my journey began over 35 years ago, back uh, right in 1989 during the end of the Cold War. And when I enlisted in the Air Force, I was really just going to serve four years and get out. Um, I ended up serving seven and a half years enlisted when um, when I had a wing commander who approached me and said, look, I want you to become an officer. Uh, so, I, so I applied to officer training school, was selected, and uh, became a space and missile operator, uh, which I have done for over 25 years in my career. So I have uh, had the privilege of uh, commanding uh, many different units and uh, you had a you had an airman on from the Fourth Space Warning Squadron uh, earlier uh, today or yesterday. I actually commanded that installation and that mission set, provide missile warning to our combatant commanders and our national uh, leadership. Brigadier so General, my... no, keep going, please. No, so so I have had an opportunity and just a phenomenal uh, career, and really have been blessed by all the things that I've had an opportunity to do. Brigadier General, I have to say thank you so much for your service. We're seeing on the screen here just your absolutely beautiful family. Can you kind of tell us a little bit more about the short and long-term goals of the Space Force? Sure. So the Space Force stood up in 2019. And, and again, this is something that we had, the Department of Defense had talked about for many, many years. Uh, but certainly we could not uh, give it the right focus until we started seeing some of our strategic competitors acting in non-responsible manners uh, in space. So therefore, uh, Congress passed uh, the, uh, the National Defense Authorization Act, which, which established the Sixth Service, the Space Force. And certainly we are a small service. We're only, uh, probably by the end of this year, we'll be over 9,000 active duty service members. But we are here to protect and defend the space domain, because again, our allies or, or adversaries, potential adversaries have seen how we use and leverage space and the strategic advantage that space provides us, and they have developed capability to deny us that strategic advantage. So the Space Force can now, we're still underneath the Department of the Air Force, but now the Space Force can provide that focus effort and level of effort to really get in after protecting and defending the space domain. Really incredible. Well, I do have to ask you this. So recently there's more information about alleged UFOs They've been coming out. Uh, there's been right. a number of sightings that people claim they've seen a continuing to grow. Um, a former Pentagon official appeared on our network last week saying that we're not alone. Having been in, air, in the Air Force and the Space Force, we have to ask you, have you had any encounters with UFOs or have you had any, any sightings of them? So I personally have not had any encounters with any U uh, UFOs. I know uh, the Pentagon released some video footage of our Navy pilots who uh, captured uh, an unidentified aerial phenomenon um, uh, d during one of their uh, exercises. But certainly I personally have not experienced any UFOs, but, but uh, this is a phenomenon that's growing. And that's why last year the Department of Defense, in addition to uh, with coordination with the Director of National Intelligence, started up and created the All Domain uh, Anomaly Resolution Office, headed by Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, whose main purpose is to uh, is is to respond to, and identify uh, and analyze all the uh, unidentified aerial phenomena and the and the uh, the the the, the sea-based phenomena as well. So this is this has gotten a lot of attention, even with Congress, the uh, House Oversight Committee saying that they're going to hold um, uh, hearings uh, about this in a, in the near future. Okay, General Devin Pepper, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your service. My pleasure. Thank you for having me, Kelsey. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.